Welcome back to Digital Wandering. And today I wanted to talk about uh, my Mac box set that I purchased back in 2010. Now I did a video on this box set in January of this year, but I didn't actually show the box set. I just, uh, I talked about it and showed information about it within a browser. But I wanted to show the actual box set today. Uh, now, this is a box that's over 10 years old, so it is a little bit beat up. Uh, but we'll show the information here about the box set and then the actual disc that I have inside here. So this contains uh, Mac OS Snow Leopard 10.6. We also have iLife and iWork. Again, this is $169 uh, when it was released uh, pre-tax. And it represents a transitional period uh, because things change very quickly after this was released. So this is the, just not something that exists anymore. Uh, everything is now a digital download uh, from the internet. And so this is a, kind of the last of an error, pretty much. Um, the last Mac OS that was fully uh, released on disk after this uh, 10.7 that was released in 2011 was a digital download. Uh, so this was the last one that was um, primarily released, released in uh, disk form. So this is a uh, Snow Leopard 10.6 was released in 2009. I purchased this in early 2010. So let's just get, look at some information here on the back here. And you can pause the video if you like. Uh, I won't be going over everything that's listed here. Uh, so again, we have Mac OS Snow Leopard, um, and we also have iLife, which iLife is iPhoto, iMovie, GarageBand, iWeb. iWeb, uh, as you can see there, was a, a custom website and publishing tool. Now, uh, that iWeb, I don't know how long I, iWeb was around. I don't think iWeb made it to 10.7. Uh, so website creation tool that's no longer with this, but everything else that you see here is still, is still around. And also iWork, you have pages, numbers, Keynote. Now the thing is, uh, when you, um, I'm going on memory here. When you installed a new version of Mac OS. From my memory, I, I, most of the iLife uh, things were there as part of the installation. iPhoto, iMovie, GarageBand. iWork wasn't included as part of the installation at the time. And I think this is still the case. You had, uh, but at, at this time, you had to pay for iWork um, in order to activate it. Where iPhoto, iMovie, and GarageBand, from my memory, was included. But these are updates. So this is like iLife 09 and iWork 09. iLife, if you had an older version of iLife or older version of iWork, if you had paid for it previously, if you wanted to install the new version, you had to pay for it. And just breaking it down, so again, this whole thing was $169. Uh, the Snow Leopard portion of this was like the cheapest portion. It was $29 to get Snow Leopard. If you were buying it um, by itself individually, iLife and iWork were each $79 if you were buying it individually. And so all together, uh, if my math is correct, is $187 for the entire bundle. Uh, if you were buying it, and well, if you were buying it individually, it's $187. Uh, if you get the bundle, you save $18, so it's not a huge amount of savings, but it is some savings by buying it as a part of this bundle, like I did back in 2010. So let's just look at some of these discs here. Put the box off to the side. So we have the Snow Leopard disc here. And actually, let's just open it up. So just to show you here, we have the flap and inside we have a snow leopard disc. Now this snow leopard is not 10.6. Uh, 
uh, included in, in this box set was 10.6.3. So this is uh, one of the point releases. So as a part of the box set, uh, as opposed to shipping 10.6.0, it's 10.6.3. Um, I'm not really sure why they did that. Because uh, you could, uh, because at this time, although the initial, uh, the initial upload was by this form, to get the uh, updates after it's installed on the disk onto your computer, you would update it over the internet. So the point releases were all digital downloads. The actual OS, the full size OS was on disk, but the point releases you were um, downloading over the internet as they released it to each individual machine. So I'm not sure why they just didn't send 10.6.0 and then just um, download the updates over the internet. Now it's probably, you know, the updates were not only are adding additional features primarily, uh, or possibly, probably primarily there are updates for security patches. So maybe it was just advantageous to give you the latest version as opposed to just giving you 10.6.0. But you see that with, um, other discs that I will eventually show in here where it's not the 0, .0 version, but it's one of the later updates that came down the line that they provide you with by disc. But also in this sleeve here, this box sleeve, we also have a booklet. Welcome to Snow Leopard. So this is really interesting in that um, now all the information that's provided by Apple is on the internet. Uh, again, you download the OS digitally from Apple. And if you need to have any additional information, you go to either a page Apple provides, or you may even go to a page provided uh, by another, another company, another uh, internet user, maybe a, maybe a YouTuber who will provide you with information about the, uh, the new OS in a video. But you don't get booklets like this any longer. So not only did you get a physical disc, but you also receive manuals. Now, there's not a lot of information here, so it's just really introductory. But especially for a new user, which I was at this time, I've, um, you know, I I got this installation for my 2007 MacBook, the same MacBook where I I showed. Um, Mac OS Snow Leopard in 2021 video. That that was my first MacBook, and this is the uh, MacBook that I purchased this bundle for. So that uh, that uh, device came with uh, Mac OS 10.5 Leopard. So within about six months of Snow Leopard being released, I decided to purchase this bundle in order to update my computer to 10.6. So this goes over uh, the OS and all the uh, pre-installed applications. And let me just see here, let me go back. Go back a little bit mail, let's see, parental controls, let's see what else we got here, photo booth, boot camp, and now here, this, look at this, installing windows is what, what this section is for, so using boot camp to install windows. Pretty much it. Some other online information, resources, additional information. So that's nice. This is what you would get when you bought Mac OS Snow Leopard, the disc and a small booklet. Not a lot of use right now um, because um, don't really have a need to install Snow Leopard more than often you would only use a lot of these discs at one time. And that's the only thing about this is that it does feel like it's a bit of a waste. Like I'm pretty sure I only used this once 
to install it on that 2007 machine. But once you do so, you don't really need it. You don't really need it after that. So I, I think that's one thing that's the benefit with the digital downloads. It seems less wasteful. Um, okay, so did we have iLife here? The iLife disc. This is version 9.03. And again, this is uh, iLife 09. And it does come with a, a sm much smaller booklet than when you receive. Uh, it's just really a card pretty much folded in half with some installation instructions. You can see that here. And then we have iWork. Again, this is by itself is $79. Again, same installation. Uh, hardware requirements, which I'm pretty sure this was on the iLife, yeah. Well, it has, soft, it has the software, where's the hardware requirements here? Yeah, it does have that here, hardware requirements. See that seventy nine bucks. So one of the things that's kind of interesting about this time frame is that the Macs that were released for the most part at this time frame, uh, and I'm talking about laptops here, uh, so MacBooks and MacBook Pros, they did have internal uh, disk drives that you could insert these disks. But there was a, a device at this time period that did not have an internal disk drive, and that was the uh, MacBook Airs, which I think came out in around 2008. So they didn't have an internal disk drive. Uh, you could attach an external disk drive uh, to a MacBook Air, like by, by USB. But I think that represented the future, and we can definitely see that today because none of our, our laptops come with... Uh, at least none of the um, Apple laptops come with uh, internal drives any longer. Uh, so you don't have the ability. Again, you can still use an external drive just like you could back in the day with the old original uh, MacBook Airs. You can still do that today if you need be, but it doesn't come as an included feature any longer. And that happened very soon after this. I think the last MacBook uh, that was released with an internal drive was the 2010 MacBook, which I have, which I've shown on this channel many times. And I think the 2012 MacBook Pros uh, were the last uh, MacBook Pros with an internal drive. So everything changed within a few years where you would use uh, the um, disk in order to update uh, the operating system or to add major software to your device. That all changed within a few years. And I actually have a, a few additional disks here that I just wanted to show. But I normally keep all this stuff together. So since I have it here, I just wanted to show here. So these are the, in, uh, the installation disks uh, for my 2007 MacBook. And uh, therefore, uh, Leopard 10.5 uh, Leopard. Now I got my device in late 2007, so it doesn't say anything about a point release here. It just says 10.5. So it's possible this is the original version of Mac uh, Mac OS 10.5 Leopard. It's not one of the later updates. Uh, so this, uh, these are the installation discs for that. And I only use these one time to do the initial installation back in 2007. They're in awesome condition. Also, I have the installation disk uh, disk for my MacBook Pro, my 13-inch MacBook Pro. Uh, now these, uh, I got that MacBook Pro in 2011, so it was before the release of 10.7. So these are actually also Snow Leopard. And these are the point release. It, uh, this is uh, Snow Leopard 10.6.7 that is included on these discs. 
that is the second to last version. I think the last version of Snow Leopard, oh, definitely the last version of Snow Leopard was 10.6.8. So what's representing here is the second to last versions here, 10.6.7. Uh, so this is right before the end of the line for Snow Leopard for these installation discs here. Again, I think I only use these one time. So yeah, it is it is rather wasteful with all these discs. And I just keep them for collectible purposes. Also with that uh, 2011 uh, MacBook Pro, I had an add-on that I added with that and that was this Office for Mac. So this was an addition. I don't know how much I paid for this uh, because it was an add-on when I purchased the 2011 uh, MacBook Pro to add uh, this Office for Mac. That was one of the things, one of the additional software that I was, uh, that they had listed that I could add. So I decided to add Microsoft Office for Mac. This is uh, the 2011 version. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of curious how much I paid for this, but I just do not remember. Um, and then I only use this once and, and from my understanding, this is everything, um, I believe, like as far as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, I think Outlook as well is listed on here. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so very soon after this was released, uh, because by 2011 you had 10.7 Lion, which was again was completely a digital download. Another thing that's really changed is that the cost of all of this. So within a few years, everything that, that you see here was free. So it didn't just go from not just being a, a go. Uh, it didn't just eliminate the physical disk, but you also eliminated the cost because I think by ten point nine, uh, ten point nine is I believe Mavericks. Uh, Mac OS 10.9. Uh, that was the, I believe, the first version of Mac OS that was a completely free download. So the first transition was going from these physical discs to uh, just being a digital download for all the major software, um, and then it it went from it because you still was charged for that digital download in the beginning. Uh, they didn't charge much for the OS. I mean, even here, it was just $29 if you were buying Snow Leopard by itself. Uh, so in the early days for like 10.7, 10.8, they still charge for it. But by 10.9, uh, they, they gave you the OS for free. And then also, all this was also free as well, iLife and iWork. So, I mean, this is nearly $200 that I spent here. And now all this is for free. So it's, it's, a, it's a definite transition point. Uh, the use of this, uh, of any of the software, again, I do have, I think I've used the, uh, the Snow Leopard CD here a few times on some of my retro devices uh, to, um, to load Mac OS on them. Uh, so that's one of the few discs here that I've used more than once. Some of these other discs, I, I could possibly use them on some of my... Um, uh, retro max uh, that, but yeah it, it, I don't really have a huge uh, reason to use most of this stuff more than once uh, so yeah it just cut for just collectible and memory uh, reasons nostalgia but yeah that's this is the Mac box set uh, Really wanted to show this on the channel, but thank you very much for watching. This is Digital Wandering signing off.